हेलो डियर ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई प्रोफेसर सारिका ठुमरे फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी डिस्कस द आर डब्ल्यू आर पी एम ओवरऑल क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दैट वी हैव डिस्कस द आर डब्ल्यू आर पी एम क्वेश्चन बैंक्स नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स द ओवरऑल इज गोइंग ऑन सो दैट इट विल बी लिटिल बिट हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड योर करियर ओके लेट स्टार्ट नाउ In IWRPM, first of all, we will see and we will discuss the what is mean by IWRPM, what are the principles of IWRPM, what are the concepts, what are the functions, and what are the approaches as well as what is the storm water. Let's discuss now. See, what is IWRPM? IWRPM is defined as Integrated Water Resources Planning and Management. it defined as it is the process of promoting and coordination development and management of available resources which are the available resources like water land and their related resources to maximize ecosystem and social welfare for equitable manner but without the compromising the sustainability that means ecosystem like without disturbing of the aquatic life okay that is the definition of iwrp now we will discuss the principles of iwrp what are the principles first one social equity second social economic efficiency and environmental sustainability next what are the components there are the nine components of iwrp first one is the waste water management that means wwm it is a short form will make it sure to your mind water supply conservation then storm water management existing backwater management that means it will use for your futures water resources management then next the purposes and services as well as the discipline and knowledge then next government interest group as well as stakeholder groups these are the very important components of iwrp then next what are the implementation steps we'll discuss it there are the six implementation steps first one is the understand the system everywhere first we will the understand then next it's distinguish what are the area are the important then next how to develop and how to improve our target okay then next the planning and the strategies then next implementation of the plan and after that the last process is monitoring evaluation of the documentation okay then next what are the approaches of iwrpm first approach is that the environmental suitable, suitable policies like strategies like and the legislation they are used for the sustainable water resources planning development and their management second putting it in the institutional framework okay these are the policy we have to putting in in the institutional framework and third one is the setting up its in the management then next next point is the storm water management storm water management that means it will used in the urban as well as developed area to improve the surface pavement water such as the roof pavement precipitations from the naturally soaking up the ground okay instead of that the water rapidly go into the storm drain as well as sewer system and the drainage ditch it can be causes the flooding erosion okay the interbridges so that the storm water and sanitary sewer systems is overflow and the infrastructure damage so we will use the storm water for the improvement of the soaking of ground water level okay that one is the design for the green water infrastructure then next national water resources council it is very important we'll discuss in next